I'm Richard Metzger. Brad Lehner. And we are of the DangerousMinds.net blog. When, when I come to Amoeba, the first thing I do is I go to the Stone section, I go to the Dylan section, and I look for the used SACDs. And uh, the ones that come in the Digipack are in fact the SACDs. If they're in a regular jewel box, they are not SACDs. So you can know that. But here's, my, here's the one that I did find, Bob Dylan. So I got a uh, Judy Sill live in London uh, CD that I don't have. I've been looking for someone who sells truth by the pound. Then I saw the dealer and his friend arrive, but their gifts looked green. Judy Sill's one of my absolute favorite uh, 70s singer-songwriters, sort of a, a tragic uh, Los Angeles character. Quite a story. I'm waiting for the, the book or film. So uh, next, again, on my surround sound quest, my surround sound safari, Tommy. I'm free. The new Blu-ray of Tommy, 5.1, it sounds awesome. I already rented it from Netflix, now I'm gonna have my own copy. I got uh, Turtle Dreams by Meredith Monk. I used to work at uh, Licorice Pizza Records uh, in the early 80s in the Sherman Oaks Galleria. And uh, I used to play this and uh, some Stockhausen to, uh, to get people out of the store at night. Alice Cooper. I've wined and dined on Mulligan Street. Never wished for turkey. As I hitched and hiked and drifted to a 12 of turkey. Mixed in surround sound. 5-1 surround of Good to See You Again. This is the Billion Dollar Babies Tour. I've had a bootleg of this for a long time. This will be even better, I'm sure. Uh, family, live. This is uh, a live recording. Roger Chapman, you can kind of see, he's just a total wild man singer. He had like this goat-like vibrato that was total commercial suicide here, but they were huge in England. I don't know why, but I'm very much looking forward to hearing this. And yet another Alice Cooper CD. This is uh, pretty for you. Um, and this was uh, uh, on Frank Zappa's label in the 60s. And it's a really, it used to be a really hard to find Alice Cooper record, but it looks like Rhino has reissued it recently. So I'm going to pick this one up. I got uh, Jean Claude Vanier. He was a. Uh, an arranger for Serge Gainsbourg, he um, arranged the Melody Nelson album, and this is a, a record of his that's been reissued from the early 70s that's uh, just tremendous, just great, uh, great instrumental music. You can clearly hear that, like, air pretty much has copped every single move, and they've done it well. They picked all the best moments, so. Uh-oh. <laughs> head. The monkeys. Head. How the mama did explain. Is it uncool to admit that you love the monkeys? You should spend more time on it because the youth of America depends on you to show the way. Yeah? Yeah. Monkeys is the craziest people. There's a new Criterion Blu-ray that's come out of head, and it's amazing. And it's in 5-1 surround. But um, it's only part of a box set for now. So um, if you're interested, you might want to wait before you buy head on Blu-ray. <laughs> uh, OK, I've got a collection of uh, Georgian folk songs. Um, I have no idea if this is ex what I'm looking for, but I, I got exposed to some Georgian folk music recently and it was sort of a equivalent of like the Bulgarian women's choir, except for all these sort of deeper male voices, all these dapper gentlemen here. So I'm hoping this is uh, going to be marvelous and will make me cry, perhaps. And of course, what, com what, yeah, what, yeah. what, what comedy shopping spree would be complete without Nichols and May? Oh, well, uh, miss, you have, you have my dime. I have no, we do not have your dime, sir. If you want your dime, you have to hang up, sir. That's the uh, way it works. Miss, look, the dime is collected. Look, I know that sound. I've heard it all my life. The dime is in there with sir, all those... Yes. Information cannot argue with a closed mind. Why don't you try hanging up? Because I can't take the chance, operator. Because if, if I hang up, I'll lose the dime. I won't be able to talk to you. Do you see? I, I, I have to have... Hello? Hello? No. 
Look, miss, can I go over your head? Is there another operator I can talk to, a supervisor, somebody? You wish to speak to a supervisor about your alleged diem? <laughs> Brilliant. Elaine Nick May and Mike Nichols. All right, so I got the, uh, the brand spanking new Seafeel album. <laughs> Um, this is, I think, their first album in at least 10 years. Um, pretty sure it's all the original people. Just great. Um, they get lumped in with the shoegaze crowd, but I always thought they were quite a bit more interesting and more sort of electronic. And so do you, don't you? Yeah, I do get I, My <laughs> old band Medicine gets lumped in with that. But. I already have this one, but I'm going to buy this for a friend of mine. Judy Garland Speaks. That's a nice man. That's a big, upstanding tramp. Well, maybe he's in with the judges and the stench of lawyers who rob me and just keep it going, keep the case going. Judy's crazy. Judy doesn't know what she do. I know well enough how to raise three kids and damn well. These are the tapes that um, La Garland made, obviously completely drunk. And um, when she was, she was supposed to write an autobiography. So it's just her alone with a tape recorder, a microphone, and a big bottle of gin. And it is like, it's honestly, this is some of the sickest stuff you've ever heard in your life. It's like Samuel Beckett meets Shut Up Little Man. Yeah, I, I gotta say, when someone says, come, shop at a store with this much choice, it was really hard. Right, right. Really hard. But on Broke the other hand, I, think I, I did break a sweat. But on the other hand, <laughs> I got some free records out of it. So Yay. it was worth it. Thanks for free records. Thank you. <laughs> Amoeba.